Hi, I'm Steve Hutt, manager of R&D at 18 Sound in Reggio Emilia, Italy. Today we're talking about the components that are in a woofer. Most people are familiar with the frame, the cone, the motor structure, maybe the spider. To have a closer look, let's go up to the factory floor and look at components in production. I'm holding in my hand the stationary parts of a 15-inch woofer. Let's have a look at them basket, sometimes called a frame. Terminals are attached to bring the lead wire up from the voice coil and bring the current in from the amplifier. The basket supports the motor structure on the rear side and on the front side. The spider gets glued to a land area and the surround gets glued to a land area. Sometimes we'll place a gasket on the front or the rear depending on how the basket will be mounted in an enclosure. Looking at the metal and magnet parts of the motor, we have three components. Basically, we have a front plate that is basically, it's like a giant washer uh, where the flux density gap is in the center. We have the magnet, in this case, a ring magnet, it's a ferrite, sometimes called ceramic. And then we have a T yoke, because it looks like a T which concludes a back plate and a pole section and then very often a uh, tapered pole plate where we have an undercut under here that improves how the flux will flow through the gap. And have a look at the assembly again. When we're assembled, flux from the magnet will, likes to flow from north to south. Travel through the front plate across the gap, down through the pole, and back across the back plate, and back into the opposite side, creating a circuit with the flux density traveling across the gap. With the voice coil sitting in the gap and the windings wound perpendicular to the gap, a Lorenz force is developed, depending on the, on the uh, polarity of the coil, will drive the, a force forward or back to move the cone. So that's the basic overview of the loudspeaker woofer stationary parts.